Hello students! Welcome to Grade 10 Science Lesson. And I'm your teacher, Mom Marian Soriano. You have learned from our previous lesson that ray diagrams can be used to determine the image location, size, orientation, and type of image form of objects when placed at a given location in front of a curved mirror. Remember that ray diagramming may help you to determine the approximate location and size of the image form by a curved mirror. However, to know the numerical information about image distance and object size placed in front of a curved mirror, you can use the mirror equation and magnification equation. Let's find out on how we can use these two equations to describe the images formed by curved mirrors. Lesson 6. Mirror Equation The mirror equation expresses the quantitative relationship between object distance, the image distance, and the focal length as stated by the equation below. 1 over the focal length is equal to 1 over distance of object plus 1 over distance of image. For the magnification equation, it relates the ratio of the image distance and object distance to the ratio of the image height and object height. For the magnification equation, it is simply magnification equal to image height over height of object or it is equal to negative distance of image over distance of object. These two equations can be combined to yield information about the image distance and image height if the object distance, object height, and focal length are known. Before using the mirror equation to describe the characteristics of the image formed by curved mirrors numerically, don't forget the sign conventions for mirror. For the focal length, the focal length is positive for concave or converging mirror. The sign of the focal length is negative for the convex or diverging mirror. For the distance of the image, distance of image is positive if the image is real and located in front of the mirror. Distance image is negative if the image is virtual and located behind the mirror. For the height of image, height of image is positive if the image is upright. Height of image is negative if the image is inverted. Remember not to forget to apply the sign conventions for mirrors as you use the mirror equation or even the magnification equation to find the characteristics of the image form by curved mirrors. Here's another important thing to know about the focal length of curved mirrors. Remember that doubling the focal length gives you the radius of curvature. Or we can have the formula radius of curvature is equal to twice the value of the focal length. Or we can also say that half of the radius of curvature is equal to the focal length. The formula is focal length is equal to radius of curvature over 2. Let's solve some sample problems on curved mirrors using the mirror equation and magnification equation. Let's have a sample problem using the mirror equation and magnification equation. The problem is the height of an object is 5 cm and placed 30 cm in front of a concave mirror that has a focal length of 20 cm. Calculate the following. A. The distance of the image. B the magnification, and C, the height or size of the image. Let's identify first the known or given. For the height of the object, it's 5 cm. Distance of the object from the mirror, 30 cm. And the focal length will be positive, 20 cm, since it's a concave mirror. Remember that the focal length for concave mirror should be positive. Now for the required, we are looking for the distance of the image, the magnification, and the height or the size of the image. For our equation, we will use the mirror equation and the magnification equation. For our solution, let's find first the distance of the image using the mirror equation. Since we are looking for the distance of the image, we need to derive the needed equation. The derived equation would be 1 over the distance of the image 
is equal to 1 over the focal length minus 1 over the distance of the object. Now we can substitute the values. After substituting the values, let's proceed to our operations. 3 minus 2 over 60 centimeter gives you 1 over 60 centimeter. Let's cross multiply this. The answer is distance of image is 60 centimeter. Remember that if the distance of image is positive, means it's a real and it is inverted. Let's continue further. Let's find the magnification. For the magnification, we will have magnification is equal to negative distance of image over distance of object. Let's substitute the d sub i and d sub o. Negative 60 centimeter over 30 centimeter, canceling the unit centimeters, the magnification is negative 2. Negative value of magnification means it is inverted, but the image is enlarged or bigger than the object. Let's find now the height of the image since we now know the magnification. Let's derive the needed equation. Where height of image is equal to magnification times height of object. Now let's substitute the values. Negative 2 times 5 centimeter. The height of image is equal to negative 10 centimeter. Let's have our conclusion. Based on the result, let's describe the image form. For the location, it is positive 60 centimeter. For the orientation, it is inverted since the image height and magnification are negative. For the size or height, it is 10 centimeter or negative 10 centimeter. The negative sign means inverted. For the type of image, it's a real image since the distance of image is positive and it is inverted. Let's support our answer using the graphical method. Let's identify again the given. The given are height of the object, 5 cm, distance of the object, 30 cm, and the focal length is 20 cm. Let's use the principal rays, the PF ray, and the FP ray. Notice the merging of the reflected rays in front of the concave mirror. It's true that the image is inverted, enlarged, and it's a real image. Let's have another sample problem. A convex mirror has a focal length of 10 cm. A 1.67 cm tall person stands 5 cm in front of the convex mirror. What is the location and size of the image of that person? Again, let's identify the given. The given are height of the object, 1.67 cm, distance of the object, 5 cm, and the focal length would be negative 10 cm since it's a convex mirror or diverging mirror. Let's put negative sign in the value of the focal length. For the required, the distance of the image, and the height of the image. For our equation, we will use the mirror equation and the magnification equation. For our solution, let's find first the distance of the image. We will use the mirror equation to solve the problem. Since we are looking for the distance of the image, we will derive the equation and the derived equation is 1 over t sub i is equal to 1 over negative f minus 1 over d sub o. Let's substitute the values. Let's simplify it. Negative 1 minus 2 over 10 centimeters gives you negative 3 over 10 centimeters. Let's cross multiply it. Our answer for the distance of image is equal to negative 3 centimeters. Applying the sign conventions for mirror, if the distance of image is negative, means it's a virtual and form at the back of the mirror. Let's continue. For the height of the image, let's find first the magnification. For the magnification equation, it is equal to negative d sub i over d sub o. Since the value of d sub i in the equation is negative, 
and our d sub i is negative 3 cm, multiplying it gives you positive value. So for magnification, it is equal to 3 cm over 5 cm. Canceling the unit centimeters, our magnification is equal to 0 0.6. Remember, if the magnification is less than 1, means the image height is smaller or reduced compared to the size of the object. Since we now know the magnification, let's find the image height. For the image height, let's derive the equation needed. Height of image is equal to magnification times height of object. Substitute the values 0 0.6 times 1.67 cm. Our height of image is equal to 1 cm. Now let's have again our conclusion. To describe the image form, for the location, it is negative 3 cm. Negative d sub i means it is formed behind or at the back of the mirror. For the orientation, it is upright. Since image height and magnification are positive, for the size and height, it is 1 cm. And for the type of image, it's virtual. Now again, let's support this answer using the graphical method. Let's identify again our given. Our given are height of the object, 1.67 cm, distance of object, 5 cm, and the focal length would be negative 10 cm since it's a convex or diverging mirror. Let's use the principal rays, the PF ray, extending the reflected ray behind the mirror, and the V ray, again extending the reflected ray behind the mirror. Notice again the merging of the reflected rays behind or at the back of the mirror where the image is formed. It's true that the image is smaller or reduced, upright, and it is a virtual image. Let's have an activity. Using the mirror equation and magnification equation, describe the image form by a curved mirror. Let's start. The problem is, a lighted candle has a height of 6 cm and stands 15 cm in front of a converging mirror that has a focal length of 30 cm. What is the location and height of the image of the candle? You may pause this video as you answer the problem and continue to play if you are done. Let's answer. Let's identify first the given. The given are height of the object 6 cm, distance of the object 15 cm, and the focal length is 30 cm. Since the curved mirror is a concave or converging mirror, the focal length would be positive. The required location or distance of the image and height of the image for the equation, the mirror equation, and the magnification equation. For our solution, let's find first the distance of the image. Using the mirror equation, let's derive the needed equation Substituting the known values in the derived equation, we have 1 minus 2 over 30 cm gives you negative 1 over 30 cm. Let's cross multiply this. The answer is distance of image negative 30 cm. Again, negative d sub i means it's a virtual or form behind or at the back of the mirror. Let's continue. Let's find the height of the image, but first let's find the magnification. Using the magnification is equal to negative d sub i over d sub o. Substituting the values, again, our d sub i will be positive since negative times negative, it will be positive. So 30 centimeters over 15 centimeters. Canceling the unit centimeters, the value of our magnification is equal to 2. Remember, if the value of the magnification is more than 1, it means the image height is bigger or larger than the object's height. Let's continue and find the image height. Using the magnification equation again, let's derive the needed equation to find the image height. Let's substitute the values 2 times 6 cm. The image height is equal to positive 12 cm. Let's have our conclusion. Let's describe the image form. For the location of the image, it is negative 30 cm. Negative d sub i means it was formed behind or at the back of the mirror. For the orientation, it is upright. For the size and height of the image, it is 12 centimeters. And for the type of image, 
it's a virtual image since D sub i is negative and the image is upright. Let's support our answer using the graphical method. Let's identify again the given. The height of the object is 6 cm, the distance of the object 15 cm, and the focal length is positive 30 cm. Obviously, the candle is located between F and V. Let's use the principal rays, the PF ray and the V ray. We will extend the reflected rays behind the mirror, where they merge to form the image. So it's true that the image is enlarged, upright, and it's a virtual image. To summarize what you have learned, the mirror equation expresses the quantitative relationship between the object distance, the image distance, and the focal length. You have learned also the importance of the sign conventions for mirror. For the focal length, the focal length is positive if the mirror is a concave or converging mirror. The focal length is negative if the mirror is a convex or diverging mirror. For the distance of image, distance of image is positive if the image is real and located in front of the mirror. Distance of image is negative if the image is virtual and located behind the mirror. For the height of image, height of image is positive if the image is upright. Height of image is negative if the image is inverted. I hope you learned and enjoyed our lesson. This is Marian Soriano. See you in the next lesson.